YouTube. So for those of you on YouTube, welcome back. This is uh, day number, what, uh, 28 now? Uh, 29, I beg your pardon, for CLG FC on YouTube. It is episode 37. So uh, I'll definitely lose track of that start next season, some of course. But we're playing CLG FC. We just beat Bar Hill 3-1 to one, uh, with both of our starting center backs hurt. Uh, they took a red card 69 minutes in, and that was basically the end of that. They conceded a pen to us, and then after the pen, they took a red card, and that was done and dusted. So, Barhill slipped into the drop. Didsbury managed to draw Ultra Jim Hale under 21. So, Ultra Jim Hale under 21s are a point away from being relegated, uh, either by Didsbury cl claiming it, Barhill winning their next match, or Ultra Jim Hale under 21s failing to win their next match. AFC Oldhams could only draw uh, Milro Figrovia, which basically knocked them out of promotion contention. So AFC Oldham reserves cannot come up no matter what. And uh, Temperley Villa, that was a 2-2 draw. Temperley Villa drew Mosterbrook under 18s 4-4. Temperley Villa actually scored in the 90th to go ahead 4-3. And a minute later, Mosterbrook under 18 scored in stoppage time to level 4-4. It means that Temperley now must win their final two games. Earlham Steel Rangers reserves must lose their final two games. And in the process, they make up a 11-goal difference. Uh, in order to uh, get promoted. So it looks like Earlham Steel Rangers Reserves, who came up with us last season from the Lancashire and Cheshire Amateur League Division C, is coming up with us again from the Lancashire and Cheshire Amateur League Division B up to Division A, which is next. This is a very, very large database. Um, it uses Dan FM's database, his England Level 20 mod. And yes, we go down to Level 20. It also has every other nation enabled that's in Vanilla FM. The exception to that is Russia and Belarus, or Belarus, I should say. Um, <clears throat> but uh, so those two countries are not enabled. Every other country is enabled. Um, and every league in those countries is enabled. So if I go to detail level, no, not detail level, I beg your pardon. Uh, game status you can see these are all the divisions that we have it's a very large database uh it is 406 460,000 changes so it's a really 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 large database so it is going to take a while to get to the next match so we're just going to have to bear with that it is 14 days i believe 13 days 13 days until the next fixture and that's going to be against Didsbury, who just climbed out of the drop zone, finally. They, they hung around there for about, I want to say it was four matches, maybe. Um, and they've just climbed out with two games to go in the season. We're going for an unbeaten season. We're going for a unbeaten... We actually might not get to the next match <laughs> because i forgot we have this friendly we have to attend between counter logic let me see if i can actually unattend that friendly and just send my assistant uh to scout it for me versus the youth candidates i did that last year but i clicked the 10 game like a fool thinking i was going to get through it tonight and go through the next match and some crap so uh given how long it takes to freaking uh process any of this let's go back and turn the music back on <clears throat> so now that we're done the fixture so we can enjoy a little old timer SNES music of course <clears throat> and uh, await the uh, the next fixture, I, I'm looking for other football manager streamers that I already follow. Not that they're just streaming in general, but already follow. So, by the way, if you enjoy FM, definitely give Mad FM a follow. M-A-D-D-F-M. Very good, very good guy. He's an Irish bloke. He supports Newcastle, which means he's a proper football fan. And uh, he's playing an interesting save, a South Shields save. That is 
only he's only allowed to hire staff and players from the northeast of England. So, you know, Newcastle, South Shields, Sunderland area, basically anything out on the Tyne up there in the northeast. So, just got knocked out of the playoffs in the second round. That's tough. That's that's brutal. But uh, just means you can build on next season, right? That's that's all it is. You gotta lose before you can win. So here's the match momentum. We had all of it. Uh, why don't, oh yeah, yeah, we had all of, we had basically all of it. Barrio had little pockets. XG 2.2, 3.49 to 2.29. 2.29 is very high for our opponents this season. But again, we were without both center backs, who should be back for the next fixture. There's our pass map. It didn't really stop us from passing very well. There's their pass map. Real disconnected on the right hand side of the pitch. And then, of course, the goals from long range. We did pepper them, by, uh, by the way. I don't know why these stories come out. I'm not interested in Holmes. I haven't fucking scouted Holmes. Like, I literally need to scout the player if I'm interested in the player. There's a training schedule for the next two weeks in the lead up to the Didsbury match. Remember, we have Didsbury in two weeks. That's 12 days away. And then we have AFC Oldham only seven days after that. So every match in the season has been two weeks apart. The exception is this last match, which is only one week apart. So only 18 games in this division. We are so far down in the doldrums of English football that uh, you really only play 18 games. You don't actually get above like to 30 games in the season until you get to like a level 12 or a level 11. That's when you actually start getting uh, getting longer seasons. And you have to worry about squad rotation a lot more. There's no cups down at this level. We're not playing any cups uh, this far down the pyramid. So, more information on the database. You can type exclamation point DB in the chat. And it will tell you uh, about the database. So, uh you can definitely give Dan some support as well. He spends a lot of time making the database. Uh, so I might implore his help to see when they do bring women's football into the game. If they bring it, which I think is supposed to be next year. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be next, next year's edition. Uh, but basically emulating the pyramid that he makes, but for the women. And, and sending England down to, I think, the women's divisions go down to level 11, if I remember correctly. So, uh, recreating that would be nice. And all the cups involved as well. Are you aware of my contact in China? No, I am not. Um, I'm not aware of your contact in China, no. Please do explain. So... Available first team players for the under 18s match. Five suggestions. Potts. Yes. Dempsey. Yes. Hearn. Yes. Jack and me. No. Pa oh, that's fine. I know a guy, Etsy, who knows the guy. Okay. He makes custom PCBs using Logitech technology. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, Next Gen have announced the 50 best wonder kids in football. Where's the like list? Like, can I see the list? Like, I can't even see the like. Why can't I see the full list of 50? Oh, this is the list of 50. Okay. I'll be purchasing a wireless Logitech MX518. A wireless Microsoft wheel mouse optical 1.1a from him soon. Interesting. Let me know how you like him. You're become you're slowly going to become the Viscos of North America Hotel. I don't know if you know Viscos. Um, Viscos, she's got unbelievable aim, but <clears throat> she has a basic. I think it's an online Google Doc. That is um, 
keeps track of like all the mouses and the mouse pads and the speed across the mouse pad with which the mouse travels and things like that. You're really into mouse. You're really in the. I said mouses, but you're really into mice. You should you should check it out. Uh, yeah, I love Visco's videos and, and Twitter. Yeah, okay. I'm like I know you got to know of her, mate. There's two Americans who made this list. My sister was messaging BRB. All right. How about that? Uh, weekly staff meeting. Attend the meeting. Yes, you can. You can start individual training. I'm not changing any of that. Kerry Evans is currently good. Uh, we'll keep him on their main squad because we do use Evans occasionally. A coin coin with a dip here. Uh, went up in dribbling, though. Went up a whole point in dribbling. So. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, this is because of the injury. Right? So, that's... Not a terrible surprise, right? Uh, uh, okay, that's good. Thank you. So I need to... Uh, is there a calendar schedule? Uh, calendar, right? It's not even... Oh, here it is. I don't want to... Uh, uh, damn, where is it? Where's the fixtures, right? I don't want to attend. <clears throat> so that should play out. We should get a report from our assistants and scouts about these youth candidates that we're going to intake. The word back in December, January, was it something like that? Was that this, this class, unlike the last class, is not particularly particularly going to be very good so <clears throat> we'll see if that holds to be true right so um but yeah we're we're, we're gonna be we're gonna be here a little bit <laughs> a little bit uh so Bus Palm. <laughs> nice. Uh, did you sign all the youth intakes since they are amateurs? Don't you sign all these? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't think you do. Because if I remember correctly, last year or last season, we didn't take in all the youth candidates, if I remember correctly. We took in most of them, to be fair. We took in most of them. But I'm pretty sure we definitely cut a few. So, but the crazy thing is the club's not amateur. The club is professional. Counterlogic FC is listed as professional, if I remember correctly. So, uh, we might not actually take in the youth candidates because of that. But you may, you may still be right. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the club is listed as professional. Um... Let me see. Club info. Or maybe semi-professional? No. Professional status. So, uh, we had to do that to keep the players. So, uh, recently signed a contract. Has a one-year extension clause. I'm just going to trigger the extension on Parks. Darkwa. Enough time remaining on current contract. That's fine. Has a one-year extension clause for Gabane. I actually would ready. Would re, I actually want to release Gabane uh, and Scala? They don't play. Gabane's made two substitute appearances in the under-18 league, and Scalaro hasn't made any, and very, very fringe. So Darkwa has made 22. I mean, Darkwa might be worth another year. He's only at 140 pounds a week, but he Dark was very much a excess. Like he's not listed in the senior side. 
Oh, I'm going to have to swap all these players back, by the way. So I'm going to have to come back in for Harrison. Jack's going to come in for Evans. And then i got to name them in the subs again, I think. Uh, actually, no. Harrison's the only sub that needs to be named, and that'll be uh, a swap over there. Uh, so. so we have four contracts expiring. He doesn't have... The only player I would consider signing doesn't have a option and I don't want to list him as a future pro like he's not a future prospect so uh, I guess I'm just going to go into contract negotiations like you are very much a fringe player mate I'm going to be honest with you uh, what do you want now you want 120 pounds per week you want a 160-pound loyalty bonus. All this is fine. Yearly rage-wise of 10%. Unused substitute fee. Of Let me see if I can knock these down. I do want an optional extension by the club for another year. He's okay with that. This is actually going to cut 20 pounds off our budget, I think. So that's pretty good. Uh, what else we got here? Union drew Toronto. So they are just on the outside looking in with a game in hand. Uh, and that's basically it. That's all that's going on. So the transfer window is closed for the Amateur League. It closed on the 28th of March. So the last three games every team has to see, see out with their current squad. It's not a big uh, deal, but... Uh, it's just going to take a while to get to the game. So uh, 11 days to go. We do have the friendly with the youth candidates coming through. We'll see if anybody lights it up. But again, they were not necessarily projected to be particularly very well uh, or very good, I should say, this year. So there's a chance that they all suck, which is fine. Our under-18s currently are uh, not doing too bad in the Northwest League uh, that they're in. I think they are I think they lost to Oldham, who's unbeaten, and that jump dropped them to seventh, if I remember correctly. So it's like, it's not huge. Oh, who remembers this? Good old Mega Man. So... Uh, this is monthly performance analysis, so that we already know about the match momentum. Passes are always through the center of the pitch. I don't know why that's... Uh, Cookies' is general performance per 90 minutes. It's pretty good. Uh, and then we've got uh, Sheamus as an attacking forward. Th three key passes per 90 minutes. It's pretty freaking good. So... Uh, and then, of course, general performance from Oconee Kuhn, by the way, who's scoring 0.59 goals per 90 minutes. That's pretty good. 0.33 non-penalty goals per 90 minutes. So very, very good for Sheamus. Uh, let's see here. Uh, is my social feed? My social feed's fine. Best performing player analysis attacking Snicky. Uh, and then, of course, the attacking team is us. We're just blowing the league away. This year, it was tight last year, uh, but this year we, we've we dominated from wire to wire pretty much so far. So, we're, why is why am I getting this? Is this because I scouted him? Is that why? It is. So, okay, well, congratulations to him. So, uh, let's get keep going on. We are going to play out the next fixture. And then we'll uh, we'll call call it quits for the night once we get through the next fixture. So, uh, <clears throat> it's eleven games or eleven days, I should say. They have does that say Gary Gary Watmore doubtful with a twisted knee. We should have both our center backs back for the game. So that should be good. Uh, 
what is this? Parks. Oh, this is the contract extension that I triggered. So, why is he still very concerned? I played him. Not, I played him. What eight games now? So, in that position and role, I don't want no. And then there you go. So, I do not want to sign a 31-year-old. You know, I'm trying to be a team that brings in youth and develops youth and. Which, granted, we're level 19 clubs, soon to be 18. It's not. Here's the youth candidates. Uh, I is he the you? Oh wow, Zevron has made one appearance and he's broken his rib. Let's go to the development center. No players worth signing, or worth, worth noting. Cheers, uh, youth candidates. That's Neil Wright. Uh, I don't know about that one, mate. Youth candidates. This is basically it. Uh, level 20 standard. Level 20 standard. I, I mean, I like that a lot of them are multiple position players. You know, like this guy can play any, any part in the defense. But I just, they're all level 20 standard. Like, it's just not, I was hoping for something a little bit better out of the gate, I guess. Oh. So, moving along. <clears throat> oh, hold on. There we go. I'm going to get that. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> and let me reload this page. Boom, there we go. Okay. We should be ticking over. Yep, we did. Ten, ten days to go. We do have four more. I think we have four more under-18 matchups left in the league as well, by the way. So, they'll be playing out four more. I'd like to see them finish top five. I think that's within reach. They finished top five. Their inaugural season in the under-18s league, you grab a top five finish. I can't be too upset at that, you know. Um, but that would be the goal for me is to see if they can just just sneak into a top five finish in the under-18s league. So. Uh, we'll see if they can do that, though. It's got to be tough. I actually haven't looked at their schedule to see if they, who they have left. Um, I know they had to play Oldham late. They just did that. They just lost to him. So I'm like, okay. Uh, not r r really any harm, any foul there, right? Like, it's just, I mean, they haven't, Oldham haven't lost to anybody. So, but I know, like, the draw versus Curtis and Ashton that they were leading in, that, that kind of hurt us a little bit. And then just, I think they lost to somebody way down at the bottom of the league, <laughs> the league as well. And I'm like, oh, okay, you can't, <laughs> you, you can't be losing to like 18th out of, uh, or not 18th, but you, I think they lost to like 14th or something like that. And I'm like, all right, there's no, that, that there's no need for. But alas, that is football. If it ever was, that is the way the sport goes all the time. So, uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. I haven't played this. I'm surprised this wasn't remade for the Switch. Like, I was like... Oops, fine. 
I mean, it's such a... I don't want to say legendary, because it's probably not as well-known as other SNES games, but it was really good. It was really, really good. Club, clubs in England set to release flares. I have no chance of signing any of these guys. So, uh, none whatsoever. I would be interested in picking up a defensive midfielder, Mike Beswick. But, like, what is... He's on 220 pounds a week. Whole under 21s. Let's have a little scout. Let's just see what it... Let's just see. No harm, no foul. He's not coming down to level 18. But, hey. Uh, you know. It's worth a go. I'm over to fucking scout budget anyway, so. Not by much, granted, but still. So. The only thing about this game is I played it when I was so young. Uh, Yoshi's Island must have come out when I was six. So, I found it difficult. <laughs> I found all my SNES games difficult, because I was only six, but... Boom, 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 boom. But... <clears throat> then again, it's weird, because I, I played the Final Fantasies on them, and they weren't, they weren't so... I wouldn't say they were difficult so much as just extremely repetitive, extremely grindy. Uh, but, uh, you know, then you get into a game like Donkey Kong Country and you just want to tear your hair out. <laughs> it's essentially what Donkey Kong Country was for me. I just wanted to absolutely tear my hair out at that game sometimes. Great game, though. Oh, my God. I'd play it all over again if I had the chance to. So, <clears throat> we are nine days away. We do, I don't see the under, uh, I'm, maybe the, I'm surprised we didn't have the under 18th fixture here. We have a break. Because usually they, usually they've been every single weekend, like just nonstop. For 34 straight weeks. That's what I thought it was going to be. And I'm surprised we don't actually have. The under 18's fixture. I suppose I'll be giving you a free viewer. Okay. I appreciate it. So. Gotta go back to. Gotta go to Walmart. I'll be back here if you're still streaming. Fair enough. I plan to be streaming until. The fixture's done. The next fixture. Which will be about an hour probably. So. Drive safe. <clears throat> but. I appreciate it, too, by the way. It doesn't never goes unappreciated. That's for sure. Uh, that's very. <clears throat> I'm wondering. I'm I'm happy that we beat Bar Hill. I know the title's already wrapped up. We're on an unbelievable unbeaten streak, by the way. Still nothing that can rival Leverkusen's, but about half of that, to be fair. We haven't lost since last season. So it's been at least 12 months, and I'd like to care. I'd like to go unbeaten. I mean, we're two games left. we got to play, not what, eighth and fourth? So, fourth will be tough. AFC Oldham can be tough. Didsbury can be a little bit tricky. But, like, they're, win they're very winnable games. It's, it's very, they're all very winnable games. So, I'd like to see if we can go the whole season unbeaten and then, and then take that momentum in the next season. Especially given the fact that Erlem are basically coming up with us. I mean, it's not official yet, but it's, Pretty darn close. They only need a point to come up. 
And they're a tough freaking side. I don't want to play them early next season. I want to be. I want to play them so late next season. Because if it's anything like this one, we could have the title. I mean, we beat them twice for the title. We beat them last season on the penultimate fixture to go four points clear with one to play. So we beat them last season for the title. They were the team that we were chasing that were chasing us for the title. And then we beat them this year to go 15 clear with four with four to play. But we were 15 clear. So it's one of those things where by the time we played them a second time in the season, <clears throat> we were so far ahead that we didn't need the game. You know, we could always just go turn around and win the next one and secure a title that way. But we the only two wins we have against them have been both title clinching wins. So but they're a tough team. They're a very tough team. I mean McCundy had to have some insane heroics just for us not to lose against them in the opening fixture uh between them. And we were home too. Like I would have rather beat them at home and draw them away, but <sighs> That's neither here nor there. So. So we've had a few, I think, lower scoring games as well. But we, we've been in control for most games this season. We should be ticking over to seven to go. So four under 18s matches left. And two of the senior squad. There is no under 21 league we're in. So. We don't have a reserve team, so oh, this is Vanilla Lake, isn't it? Yeah, this is Vanilla Lake from the old Super Mario Kart. Bam, ba, bum, bum. Bam, ba, bum, bum. So. Who was this? Uh... <clears throat> okay. I was gonna be like, who just who just hit me up on Twitter? They're, I shouldn't say hit me up. It's not like they messaged me, but. What the fuck is wrong with people? Uh... <laughs> Eight days. Oh, the under... Oh, are you kidding me? The under 21... The under... Sorry. The under 18s are going to play the exact same day. The exact same day as the senior squad again. Ah... Uh... Ah, I hate that shit. Seven days to go. I'd rather, I'd rather, ah, because then I got to make a decision and shit. I don't want, you know, I don't know. <sighs> I'd rather, I'd rather they play on a Saturday and Sunday because if somebody, say, comes in off the bench, on the Saturday game in the under 18s and then a player gets hurt. I, I you know, he's not going to be terribly too exhausted. I could play him in both games, but it's whatever. Alex Mothorpe is the manager for Didsbury. He's a brand new manager. They actually sacked uh, their old manager. As um, they sacked him, I think two fixtures ago, three fixtures ago, somewhere around there. It's a little late in the season, and that that point that he just secured versus um, Ultra Chim Hale under 21s, I believe, is the first point since he became manager. So Didsbury are kind of up against it right now. They're trying to slot, stop a really bad rot. They were mid-table, pretty much halfway through the season. 
you know, sitting around like fifth, sixth area. So they were, I think they were sixth, if I remember correctly. So they were losing some games, but they were picking up wins against other teams around them. It's been a really scrappy league, actually, this season. We've been the, we've really been the only consistent side. Uh, Ultrasham Hales have been consistent too, but that's on the other end of the table. They've been consistently losing. Uh, but then again, they did pick up some big wins. I think they beat, uh, I don't want to say it was Earlham Steel Rangers Reserves, but they might have beaten AFC Oldham. Uh, this is Molyneux. John Molyneux. Okay. Well, do I have to? No, that's fine. Uh, Dark Weapons, new one-year CLGFC deal. And it comes with an option for a one-year extension. That's good. Where are we at with the finances? Where's we at with the wage budget, by the way? That's alleviated some of the wage budget pressure. So, scouting budget we're taking a beating in, but that's fine. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's a long ass article about, well, Counter Strike. So, what have we got coming up tomorrow, by the way? I was looking at, uh, I don't know if I'm going golfing tomorrow. Like, the weather's changed every freaking minute today. For tomorrow's forecast. First it was rain. That was not, not going to rain. Now it's going to rain all day. Now it, uh, now it might rain. It might just be a gym day tomorrow in the morning. And then I think in the afternoon we're going out for lunch. Uh, my parents and I celebrate my dad's 74th. Happy birthday to the old man. So belated, obviously. It was last week, but we haven't had a chance to get out to celebrate, so we'll be doing that tomorrow. Sunday going to rain all day. Lovely. So no golf this weekend. What's it going to do? Monday it's going to be cloudy with a chance, but I won't be able to play Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday because of work. It's going to rain all those days anyway. It's going to rain Thursday. Okay. It's going to rain Friday. Jesus Christ. It's going to rain Saturday now. Fucking hell. And it's going to rain sun. Uh, God damn. Monday? In the morning. But again, I'll have work. Tuesday? Nope. Rain. Wednesday? Periods of rain. Thursday, oh, look at that, Thursday rain, Friday, finally, it'll be fucking nice on Friday, that's the 17th, it's literally going to rain for 14 straight days, Jesus Christ, <clears throat> that's brutal, I'm sorry, but that's absolutely brutal, I really don't want a part of that. Am I in England? Christ's sake. Rain for 14 straight days. 
No offense to the English streamers, but it does rain there an unhealthy amount. So, there's no denying that. My Sam, oh, this is a great song. Tough boss fight too, by the way. Six days away from the Didsbury fixture. <clears throat> and what's that, Brack? B-R-A-C, under 18s? What is Brack? I'm trying to think. What would Brack be? It's probably something like something something athletic club. Uh, what is it? Under 18s fixtures. Bra oh, Lily just Brackley. Okay, Brackley Town under 18s. Okay, fair enough. It was all capitalized, unlike mine. So, unlike, so I thought maybe it's an acronym, but no, it's literally Brackley Town. Six five to go now. Uh, so, <clears throat> no point in stopping there for snow for some reason. So, uh, maybe we do leagues in focus when we get a chance to. Might be time for leagues in focus. We'll see. We do have five to go. We do have the under 18s. And then we will finish on AFC Oldham. Tomorrow, I'm going to the gym. It opens at 8. And it's only open till 2 or 3. I think 3. But I'm going to go to the gym in the morning, try to do two hours in the gym, and come back, take my parents out to lunch. And then I need to work on some stuff around the house as well. We just need to deep clean the house. Uh, it's not getting done because just everything we had going on. We've had two, two football games to go to. So... Had one on Saturday, had one on uh, Tuesday, have another one this Sunday. <coughs> this Sunday's the development team, though, but still. Oh, I have class this Sunday, and I have to do the homework on it tomorrow. Shit. Damn, I totally forgot about that. I've got to do all that reading. And I've got to do the homework for Sunday's class. Damn. That class is going to be kicking off right as I get back, too. I'm going to get back from the game probably around 6.15, and that class is going to kick off. I'm like, bruh. What do we got here? I, I don't can we stop please I don't need to know anything about Molyneux man like just don't stop giving me shit I don't need I'm not changing I'm not changing his, his squad status so and I'm not moving him to the under 21 there's no league they're not playing in a league so that is a really useless weekly staff meeting <clears throat> All right, let's do leagues in focus. We're here. Let's talk about the leagues in focus, shall we? So, Premier League, City lead by three. They have they have five games to play. Liverpool have two in hand, and they're six points back. They. Man City have guaranteed themselves at least the way for Europa League. Liverpool at least the way for Conference League. Does this mean City's won the FA Cup? I don't think that's FA Cup. I think that's by... No, it's not. Because the, the FA Cup semi-final is... When, is uh, they got to play Ipswich, who are not in the top flight, by the way. So, City, on the based on the league, have at least guaranteed themselves uh, the, UEFA, the Europa League. Uh, Liverpool have the Conference League spot for winning the League Cup. Arsenal are second. Villa is still hanging in there 
They have a game in hand, and they're three points up on Chelsea. So Villa could do Champions League this could qualify for Champions League next season. Man United are clinging on. They're actually level on points and goal difference with Newcastle, but they've scored six more. So that's why they're ahead in sixth. West Ham are seven back from that. So I think my beloved West Ham are not qualifying for Europe this season. Uh, <clears throat> Bournemouth, Wolves, and Leeds are in the trap. Leeds... Only by goal difference. Brighton barely hanging on. Southampton, who came up, barely hanging on. They're only a point clear. Fulham are only a point clear. Brentford are only two points clear. And Leicester, in 13th, in 13th, are only three points clear of the drop. Actually, uh, Bournemouth, if they drop a point, or Brighton or Leeds pick up a point, Bournemouth will be down. Um in MLS, Nashville leads the East over Miami since he's third. Atlanta's made a recovery. They're fourth. New England fifth. Columbus sixth. The DC United is seventh. Uh, NYCFC are eighth. Fuck them. And Chicago are ninth. Our beloved Union are sitting in 13th. Uh, but they do have a game in hand. So a win would, would jump them into the playoff spots, but still. Uh, in the West, San Jose, which surprise. Uh, they finally lost one, by the way. Real Salt Lake. Uh, Seattle, LA Galaxy, Vancouver, St. Louis City, Colorado, Dallas, and Sporting Kansas City round off the playoff places. LAFC is the worst team in the league, and that makes me very, very happy. Uh, in the Skybet Championship, Sheffield United have secured at least the playoff place. They're trying to come back up. Burnley's trying to come back up. They're both in the automatic promotion spots. Both have secured at least a playoff spot. Sunderland is only a point behind uh, Burnley. Two points off the top. In third, Norwich, Watford, Swansea are in the playoff places. Luton trying to come back up are six adrift to the playoff spots. In the at the other end, QPR are uh, oof, QPR are eleven adrift with five to play. Rotherham are two adrift, and Cardiff are two adrift. Charlton just hanging on by two points here. Skybet League One: Bolton, Sheffield Wednesday, and Portsmouth all securing playoff places. Port, Bolton are Seven clear of uh, of the league, um, and then uh, uh, oh, go back. So yeah, Bolton, Sheffield, Wednesday, Portsmouth, all playoff places. Plymouth, Stoke, Peterborough, United are the other clubs in the playoff places. Wimbledon and Wickham are two points outside. Oxford are still are only three. Burton and Barnsley four. Uh, man, that mid table's tight. Uh, at the bottom, Sheltonham Town, Carlisle United, Cambridge United, Mansfield Town, all in the drop zone. Mansfield are adrift by a point. Sheltonham are adrift by 12 with four to play. So if Sheltonham drop a point or Leighton Orient uh, pick up a point or Mansfield Town pick up two points, aka a win in the next game, then Sheltonham will be down. Um, <clears throat> League 2. Crew Alexandra have a playoff place secure. They're sixth clear of the league. Wrexham are in second. Chesterfield uh, are in third. Uh, Knotts County, uh, Exeter, Salford City, and Newport County are in the playoff places. Swindon, two points adrift of the playoff places. And then down at the, the bottom, Sutton United and Harrogate Town are in the drop zone. Harrogate actually three points adrift. Ultracham Hale, or I'm sorry, Ultracham, which... Uh, came up from the Vanarama National are clinching on to their league status by just three points right now. Vanarama National, speaking of which, Rochdale secures a playoff place at the minimum. They are eight clear of the league. Hartlepool United, York City, Scunthorpe United, Kidderminster Har Harriers, Yeovil and Barnett are in the playoff places just outside by a point. Borehamwood and Gateshead by two as AFC filed. And um, Sully Hill Moors and Dorking Wanderers are two points, or sorry, three points outside the playoff places. At the drop, Chester, who are already down, uh, Bromley, Chester is relegated. Bromley, Wo Woking, and FC Halifax are in the drop. Uh, FC Halifax is adrift by a point. Dagenham and Redbridge just holding on. Oldham Athletic are holding on to the Vanarama National by two points. 
Uh, Lancaster and Cheshire, Average League Division A. This is the league above us. What's happened? Pressmitch Marauders, three straight draws, and the lead over the league that Presswich has had almost all season has been surrendered here with two to play. Manchester Saints Athletic can go up. Mostenbrook under-21s can go up as well. Um, as they have a better goal difference than Presswich Marauders. Bury Amateur Reserves are down no matter what, and Miller Reserves are one loss away or one Manchester Rovers win away from going down. Actually, if Manchester Rovers draw the next match, that will be enough uh, to uh, – that might be – no, it might, it might, not quite. If Miller wins in Manchester draw. But, yeah, Manchester Rovers – Two points away from safety. So that's leagues in focus. Uh, scouting, cool. Thanks. And uh, let's keep going. Five days to go. Whew. Oh, cool. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this uh, notification that I have? Yes. See, Serifold gets it, man. The Jersey sandwich is the best sandwich in the United States. Bar none. 100% I agree. 100%. It is the best breakfast sandwich. Although the food that Shim has posted a pic of is, looks really good. That's a local Italian place. Caesar salad and chicken pesto sandwich up top. Fries and a grilled cheese sandwich on the bottom. Mine was the top. Easily the best Caesar I've had. That's good. Yeah. Jersey sandwiches unrivaled man it's so good a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of people don't aren't, like it's not even an american food it's a regional food like it's 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 a philadelphia thing philadelphia new jersey new york and that's it man maybe delaware a little bit but yeah delaware a little bit as well but that that's really it that's a pretty it's a pretty regional dish <laughs> God damn, is it good? Oh, what's that? Oh, that's Oakland, California. Okay. Up oh, Union lost to Nashville. Okay. That's all that's going on in the social feed. Team defending for Didsbury. This is how they look. Uh, last match passes for them. They distribute nothing out of D uh, Dylan Lloyd from the back. We play a lot from the back. Uh, much more defensive in the passing, by the way. Second half match momentum. Something to keep on. Ultra Jamal really gave it to him. How did Ultra Jamal not score a second? Set piece defense efficiency. Low ex expected assists against per game. Fewer crosses against per game. We are right there. So is Didsbury, though. So, Allerton Town offer Molyneux. I thought I said stop following Molyneux. I thought I... I thought I... Ex explicitly said that. Like, un unfollow. Unfollow. Why is it still giving that? Sean Warner is out six to seven. That fucking sucks. Find loan move for player. Oh, is he lo is he loan listed? 
Yes, he is loan listed. Very concerned that he's up. I mean, he's playing. Warner, what happened with Warner? <clears throat> Robust challenge during a training session. So, uh, Warner is a sub, which means he will have to come out. Carrie Evans will have to come back in. But I don't have anybody on the left. Well, I do have Tyler Harrison, actually. So, Harrison's still available. So, it's just a sub swap. Uh, nothing huge. It's unfortunate for Warner, who has been very good. Like, it was specifically told to Warner... Before you, like, if you're going to sign the contract to join this club, because he was a transfer, so if he if he agrees to join the club, he is coming in specifically as a substitute player. Like, he's not a regular first-team starter. But he's gotten some starts with Parks being out, with Frack being out, you know, those few games that they were injured. He's come on for a lot of substitute appearances. Uh, Warner has had... Two starts and eight appearances off the bench in a league in 16 games. So he's played in 10 out of 16 games so far. It's not not necessarily the worst thing in the world for I mean to, to do that. And we give him, when we sub him in, we're giving him 20, 30 minutes too. He's playing a good, it's not like a 90th minute sub. I know I did that last fixture with him, fair enough. But, uh... <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, it's one of these things where, we, you know, mostly we're giving him 20 to 30 minutes a game. <laughs> Nobody convinced me that Vancouver deserves to win this series. Is that the NHL? That's got to be. They don't have a basketball team. Oh, my God. It's only 1-0? <clears throat> Is there games so much? Oh, there's there's game sevens on Sunday. Oh, that okay. Well, the knights the the knights and the stars play tonight, so that that game seven might not be needed. And Vancouver's about to win uh, over the Preds, which means that game seven will be needed. So literally today, 10 p.m. So 15, 20, 13 minutes, and tomorrow at eight is game seven of Maple Leafs Bruins. What a series! Two classic rivals. Original six playoffs, and you go seven games. That's whew. it's a hell of a way to kick off the playoffs. Quite honestly, Hurricanes got the Rangers. Where did they finish? Second behind the Rangers. Oh, oh, oh. no way! There's no way a team with 111 points and another with 114 points which are the two most in the Eastern Conference, the most and third most in the entire league, have got to go and play each other in the second round of the postseason. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. So. I didn't declare any interest in him, mate. I just, I don't want, like, fuck off, will you? So. This is this is from Looney Tunes basketball. It's a great game. Why don't we have that game? Come on, man. Looney Tunes basketball. That shit was fun. Basketball games on the SNES were fun, man. You had Looney Tunes basketball. You had NBA Jam. That shit was awesome. <laughs> We are two days to go until the fixture, so. Sean Warner out. Gary Watmore still doubtful with his twisted knee, so. Nothing new in terms of the news. The Canucks have beaten the Preds, by the way. They are through to the next round. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. I should refresh that page I'm looking at with football manager streamers. See who's live. Mr. Cellophane's live. And Honey Badger, by the way. Let me 
we mute tab, open them up. Same with the honey badger, mute tab, open them up. Honey badger, Mr. Cellophane. What is, uh, what the hell are these rewards? Nice. And then, uh, <laughs> he's playing his Hadouk split. So, Cellophane, I mean, Badger's playing as, uh, Ipswich. Oh, and just streaming. Hey, big fan. So, <clears throat> we have options when we're done here who we're going to send the stream to. Scouting finished. Thank you. Estimated wage, NA, transfer interest, absolutely none. Leading a level 11 player, potentially Skybet League 2. Nice. And then recruitment focus update, preparation match against Didsbury. Fair enough. We should tick over. It should be one to go. We might have autosave kick in for us as well here, if it hasn't already. But we should be down to one day to go. Until the fixture. We're going to get notification as well that we have the clash with the under-18s match. So as long as there's just... Uh, uh. That's a two. Okay, we are favorites as well. 3-10. to ten. The draw 7-2. to two. Didsbury nine to one underdogs, and uh, I should be back in full training. So, we might send you the honey badger, but but he's a Chelsea fan, so I'll probably send you the cellophane. To be honest with you, um, we're about a half hour to forty minutes away from that, though. So, uh, nonetheless, we have, let's see, why is that still on my screen? I'm going to have to refresh my stream manager because the Twitch website is bugging out right now for me. Uh, it's three, it's a day to go. So, uh, I might just run the ads now because they're due in 17 minutes. So if I run the ads now, uh, we should clear them for the game. I might wait till we actually get into match day, though. Because we're definitely stopping before uh, the match, before we tick over to the match day again. Because we, have, we haven't done the clash yet with the players for the under-18s fixture. So maybe I, we, I sort that out, and then we go. Uh, we, then we go into the ads. Speaking of which, here we go. So Sila not selected for the first team. He can play uh, because we brought in Kerry Evans back, I believe. Right? Yes. Out for the injured Sean Warner, who was out seven seven weeks. So that's fine. Let's do this. We should take over uh, shortly. <clears throat> From the Didsbury Sports Ground, it's expected to be mostly cloudy, 11 degrees. Eighth versus first. 
Alex Mothorpe handed a really difficult task. Keep. What? Get it forward and attack. We do, mate. We very much get it forward and attack, mate. And I can guarantee you that because we've scored 12 more goals than any other team in the league. So, can guarantee that we get a forward and attack. Now let's take over. I'm going to run the ads for those of you on Twitch. There's autosave. The ads have just started uh, for you all. So... Oh, let me see something here. Eleven. Okay, cool. A lot more than I thought I was gonna be. All right. Uh... Might be able to have enough to raid Mia. Actually, we'll probably do. We'll, pro we'll we'll give it a go. I'll put it that way. We'll give it a go. So, <clears throat> uh, it is match day. We'll get one stoppage for the under 18s result, probably, and then we'll move into the actual match itself. Um, oh, I forgot. Uh, shit, totally forgot something. Hang on. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There we go. Okay. That now should be fixed. Okay. Looking at the website now. Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, Christ. Okay. Um, we are not the marquee matchup. That's Earlham Steel Rangers Reserves Temperley Field. That's a big fucking matchup. Holy moly. Holy moly, that's big. Temperley need to win and win big over Earlham Steel. They are six points adrift. There's only six left on offer. So if they win, say, 3-0, uh, Earlham go to 13, Temperley go to 8. So it needs to be like a 5-0 win. That'll like a four four nil is still doable because it'll push Earlham to twelve, it'll push Timberley to nine, but if Timberley win five nil or better, then they're in business. Five nil would mean Timberley are a goal back, uh, but that's a big matchup. Earlham Steel Rangers reserves and Timberley Villa. Earlham Steel only have to manage a draw. They only have to manage a draw. And if they do, you 
you just you just signed the contract, Darkwa. The fucking transfer window's closed, mate. What is your fucking problem? He's not going to talk to me about it. I'm not talking to him about it. <clears throat> Nobody's come forward, man. I offered you for loan. I said he's available for loan. I'll offer the player. Whatever. Let me go into the under-18s and offer him up. Where are you? Can I offer him? And the next season. Whoop. Womp womp. I'll probably fail that too. The frack one. At least frack's going to get another game or two in. I don't think we had the under 18 result yet, if I remember correctly. But. No, we are not. Uh. Oh, God, yeah, that's so true. That Drake, Drake has a lot of talent and untapped potential, but has been on cruise control for years creatively. Oh, my God, that's true. One hundred percent. Under 18s win as Darkwa plays well. Look at that. Darkwa scored. <clears throat> and one player of the match, 3-1 over Brackley, who are currently sitting bottom. <laughs> it's okay. So that moves us up to fifth on goal difference. And we've got three games left. So honestly, we could we the highest we can finish is on 56 points. I don't think we're catching Marine. Uh, Warrington Town under 18s are there for the taking, though. Fitness test, Jack not required, me not required. It is finally match day. Let's let's stop the music because it is match day. We're gonna have to kick into our match day music, of course, our walkout music, and uh, get into this uh, penultimate fixture here in the division we are saying goodbye to. Counterlogic, Didsbury, Earlham, and Temperley, the other big matchup. Uh, let us... Uh, you can do it for this match. It's fine. Uh, but we are getting ready. Uh, let's have a save. We need to have a save. Okay. And then after we save, we're going into the thick of it. So let's uh, let's get ready here. For our penultimate match of the season against Didsbury. So, there's the save. Let's go. Jack's troubled again because he feels unsuited, even though he's played it for now, what, 37 games, 36 games? I don't get it, mate. Just learn to roll. Just learn to roll. So, uh, yes, you can add those instructions. They have made six changes to their starting lineup. That's a lot. We are, I am not, where am I? That is, this is it. Here we go. And here we go. Uh, they switched to, uh, from a 4-4-2 to a 4-2-4 DM wide. So they want to attack. And I say, Carry on your last performance. We'll do well. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Okay. 
and here we go. Two losses, two draws, a win in our last five. We are on a tear. Five straight wins. It's 16 unbeaten in this league, over 20 unbeaten going back to last season. There's the table. We're 17 clear. Didsbury only a point above the drop. Still no guard of honor. I guess we only got it for the one game. Uh, we are going to kick things off. <coughs> there you go. We are underway. Frack, Twinkle, Sheamus on the on the left. Good ball to Akoni Kuhn. Tries to send Sheamus in. The ball is going to be cut out by Beal. Akoni Kuhn. Sheamus might be off here. No. They're on sides. That's a good ball over the top for Sheamus. That's a good touch from Sheamus. The cross cuts right. Spaps was there. But it's knocked out by Bailey. And it will be a corner kick. She missed to whip the corner in. The keeper's going to come for that. Lloyd has it all the way. Here's Beal with it down our end now. Mantak, Beal. Frack, good steal. Twinkle, she missed. They can turn with it. The Coon. Look at the quick break. This is brilliant fo football. Snicky. Can he send one of them to a Kony Kuhn? Stay on. Spaps, did he stay on? No, the flag is going to go up. It will be offside. Spaps just leaned off. The defense did really well to draw him off there, to be fair. But here's Cousins now for Tund. A Kony Kuhn. Oh, a Kony Kuhn. That's a terrible mistake, and that's a good save from Brad. It will go out for a corner. That's a terrible touch from a Kony Kuhn, though. George will get this ball into the box. Cookies, good head clear. I don't think Frack's going to win that rundown, but it don't matter. Highlight's over. Cousins, why they got so much of the ball so early? Usually dominate possession. Here's Bailey. Oh, that's a dangerous tackle. Ton to in. It's over. Goal kick. Now here's us, Parks. Kony Kuhn. Great ball to Snicky. Oh, that should be a foul. Come on, ref. Advantage being played. Spaps back to Snicky. Snicky! Oh! Over. Goal kick. A Kony Kuhn magic? A Kony Kuhn magic? A Kony Kuhn off the bar! You've got to be kidding me. Park hey, offsides. Ah, uh, Kony could have struck the bar. I, I don't believe it. <clears throat> I am going to take away... No, I'm going to take away focus through the middle. I'm just going to say... Uh, do I have focus play through the middle? I like playing it... Well, we'll cancel. We'll just... We'll continue on. <laughs> I don't mind. We've been so good at the overlapping run. Like, Sheamus and Parks on the left. I mean, sorry. Uh, Parks and Spaps on the right. And Sheamus and Frack on the left have been so good. And, like, to play it through the middle now just seems so counterintuitive to what we've built. But I trust my assistant. I'll, I'll keep... Ah, oh, Sheamus, that's a fucking dog shit touch, mate. How have you given that up? I just we're not controlling the ball well. We're really not and we're not moving the ball well. We are down the sides. That highlight that we had, we moved it well down the left. George might be off coming back from an offsides position here. And yes, that's exactly what happens. The flag is up on the near side. He is straight into an offside position. Cousins for George. They're really pressing the shit out of us. Home going there. Frack has to win the header. It will be a corner. <clears throat> I 
How much possession have they had? We've had 66, but they've had all the highlights. It's a good grab from Brock. Solid keeping from Brock. Lloyd, Pig, is that Pigot? Or Pigot? As a, oh, that's cut out nicely. Snicky. Just send him. Yep, just send him. Sheamus gets the touch out. Just keeps it in. Sheamus now coming back. Spaps! It's over. Goal kick. I thought he might have had time to settle it, but it's always difficult to, to judge. Here's Sheamus now. For Twinkle. For Sheamus. Uh, tries through the middle for Cookies. Frack will head it down. Twinkle will knock it down, I should say. Cookies. Spaps. Spaps on the right. Spaps. What can Spaps do here? Oh, what a ball. Twinkle! Oh. Goal kick. Outside of the netting. Okay, Frack has been booked. So now I did not mean to click his name. Go back, please. So now I have to tell him to ease off tackles. That's going to be interesting because he is getting tested down on the right-hand side. Frank runs this one down. Jack has it. Cookies. Snicky. What a ball. Can Spaps get to it? No, Cousins has got it. Kazadi will come up with it. Bailey. Piggott. Cut that out. She missed us well there. Cookies. It's for Spaps. Good one-touch football. Spaps should be on here. Spaps. Cross it back. Oh, it's taking a deflection. Kazadi clears. Parks. Cookies. Have a go, Cookies. Have a go, Twinkle. Twinkle with it. Twinkle. Frack. Cookies. Somebody have a go. Cookies! Lloyd saves. Corner kick. Here's Sheamus. Boot comes. The cross comes in. Kasadi. Who can head it down? Cookies will go for it. Frack. Good knock, Frack. Twinkle. Spaps the far side. That's a great ball. And that's going to go out for a throw. They should be, like, fired up, no? Yeah. Cookies, Parks, Cookies, Frack! Oh, why the pass, Frack? Just shoot, Frack. Just shoot. You're only 18 out. They don't have Snicky can't turn on that. They don't have the space for that. Oh, I've given up the ball to George. Jesus Christ. Over the top now, home. Uh, it should be off. The flag should go up, and it will. Here's Sheamus Twinkle. Come on. I was going to say, find Parks. He's taking the space out of here. Parks for Cookies. Cookies the cross. Sheamus back post. Beal heads it down. Sheamus will run it down. Back for Twinkle. Cookies. Kakoni Kuhn. Oh, what Kakoni Kuhn. Finds the upper 90. And we finally lead at Didsbury. Beautiful one touch. Straight in off the post, too. Let's go. Woo thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Is that I don't know if that's M Moses or if that's EHM Moses, but I appreciate you. So we're one 0 up. Shimas always oh, offsides. That's flagged for offsides. Fullux has been booked, I think. Did I just get booked? Yes, I just got booked. 
as well. So I'm telling myself to ease off tackles now. It's it's nice to have a full strength squad again, by the way. Although we do have our main sub, uh, Sean Warner, out. But that's a good takeaway. Cookie's still trying to run with it. Sticky's got space. The ball needs to come in. The ball needs to come in. The ball does. It's going for Shima's the back post, and Beal will cut it out. It will be a corner. If we can score a second before half, I'll be very happy. Jack Lemon, MD, and me back from injury for this one. Snicky! And Spaps is judged to have been offsides and in the line of sight of the goalkeeper. And therefore, it is an infraction. George Cousins. Didsbury, remember, they are trying to stay up, Didsbury. They are only a point above relegation here. We've already secured the title. Mantic heads it back home. Parks needs to win a header. Will, it will be a corner for Didsbury. I don't know what's going on in the other games. I don't know what's going on in the um, uh, Earlham Steel Rangers Reserves and Temperley Villa game. That is basically a promotion decider. Cookies heads it clear. I'm going to run this down. Keep going. Keep going. Nice. Gives it to Sheamus. Sheamus. Trying to knock it on. You got to hold a play. Oh, it's a good tackle from Cousins, to be fair. It's a very good tackle. That'll be a throw. And here we go with a free kick. She missed to take it. It's a good cross. Back post. Parks! Off the post! Oh, it's in! Off the bar and in! <clears throat> Parks! With one of his few goals of the season. Has just tucked it in. What is that? What does that goal remind you of? It's Ben Watson. It's Ben Watson for Wigan Athletic. That's that looks exactly like that goal almost. Oh, that one's meant for Spaps, but that's that's too far. Let's go two nil, and that's the halftime whistle. Latest scores. Oh, oh no. So the latest score is here. Barhill are losing 1-0 after Kerr's fourth minute goal for Village Reserves, which would be enough to see them safe, by the way. Village Reserves still in a threat of relegation. That would be enough to see them safe if they can pick up that this win over Barhill. Um Temperley Villa are two one up on Earlham Steel, so they're doing the job. They need to win by five, really. We said Temperley Villa. They're only winning by one, but they are doing the job on the points end of the table. Earlham Steel, a draw sees them promoted. Let's go to the dressing room. Uh, we're doing brilliantly. That's essentially the end of it. So we're doing brilliantly. Dominating possession. We're two nil up. Let's start the second half. Uh, early subs will come in probably for Frack and myself because of the bookings. Uh, I am actually going to be suspended now for the last game of the season because I've reached the yellow card limit. Um, but that's not a big deal. Oh, that is an early cross, and I've had that out. I thought potentially that's offsides, but it will be a throw for Didsbury here to start the second half. George pumps it in. Sheamus actually comes across and knocks that out for a Didsbury corner. <clears throat> Looks like Frack was going to get to it, but it's, it's, Sheamus took no chances. Here's George's corner. Brat manages to punch it. Akonikun's going to run down, but this is a break. This is a 2-1-2 break. Sheamus on the left-hand side. Sheamus, can he put... I thought, come on, Akonikun's making a really good run here back into space. It's gone all the way back to Brought instead. So. The Disbury, the new Disbury manager. Oh, that's a great cross. Parks! Offsides. The, the new Disbury manager uh, criticized our style of play. But that style of play is 2-0 in the lead right now. Snicky. Twinkle. I want to play through the middle. Sticky's got a pocket of space. She missed, though. Doesn't find it. Too heavy a touch. Kazadi will 
knock it towards the touch line. Still Sheamus comes up with it. Mantak has knocked it down. Oconee Kuhn here. It's come. That's too heavy a touch, Snicky. That's a great ball over the top. Now the run back. Jack and myself. Tund here trying to do something to, to find the cross. Jack is on him. Back for Mantak. Mantak for Tund. Across Horn and Brat. Bratwall has it the whole way. It's a good knock by Tun. Jack wins the header, though. Cookies brings this down. Over the top for Akoni Kun. Akoni Kun dribbling in. Akoni Kun cut back. Akoni Kun goes to some sticky. At one time, the league leading scorer. I don't know who actually is the league leading scorer now, to be fair. But I believe this is Snicky's ninth or tenth goal of the season. This is getting embarrassing, the game says. It's 3 0 CLG. Horn will turn on this ball. Uh, Parks, good tackle. Park, oh. There you go, Parks. There we go. Snicky offsides. Bailey will be suspended next match for... Didsbury, and that's potentially a relegation decider, that one. Sheamus, Frack. Frack here. Good ball. Trying to find Cookies. Cousin heads it. I'll come down with it. Parks, Cookies. Quick movement of the ball. This goes center. Twinkle. Goes center again. A Coney Coon. Snicky. Play. I was going to say, play him back. A Coney Coon. Oh, it's a good tackle. Beal's going to put it out. Corner kick. Here's Frack to take the corner. Frack. Ah, it's going to be Lloyd's. I wish just hit right to Lloyd. Right between where our players were in the near post and back post. Nobody's center. I might be off here. Yeah, flag's gone up. Uh, who got the yellow? Uh, Piggott got the yellow. So, uh, who got another yellow? Uh, Kazadi got a yellow. So, Frack, substitute off for, uh, ooh, Tyler Harrison. And myself, substitute off for Kerry Evans. So, we'll make a double change here. We'll take the uh, bookings off. That's a good play. Snicky! Can't finish it. Goal kick. That's a really good play, though. Who got the booking? Cousins got a booking. Louis Beal got a booking as well. Jesus, they're getting booked left, right, and center. Alan Cousins, Lucas Beal. Harrison for a coin coon. Sheamus. Twinkle. Back for Sheamus on the left. Sheamus might get that. Does Snicky? Can he? Can they win the header? It's over. Go kick. So we have one sub remaining. And it's the 71st minute. Oh, Snicky. On side, Snicky! It's their 11th of the season. And it's 4 0 CLG. The unbeaten run will continue into the final game of the season. Oh, I don't know about that, mate. They, they, I think they were off. In off the, uh, in off the post as well. I, I think, I think that's off. And the ref, the linesman's given it, but. I think that's offsides by a minuscule, mind you, by an absolute hair.
<laughs> Cookies now. Cookies looking. The cross! Oh, it went all the way through. Sheamus was looking for another. It will be a corner. It's been a while since Sheamus has been on the score sheet. He's playing well, though. Here's Parks. Ball in. That is Lloyd's. <clears throat> Let's praise the team. I forgot to praise the team. So, Cousins here with a throw down our end. George for Cousins. George. That is a good win from, Tw from Harrison. It's come back, though. George Brott, what a grab. McBride was there, but what a grab from Brott. Much needed grab from Brott. The Brott wall remains intact. Twinkle. She missed. That's a high press. Five guys behind the ball now for Didsbury. That pass back, the only thing that's gotten them back in front of the ball. Paul, why would you give it up there? Why would you turn it over there? McBride's going to come back with it. Only Harrison knocks it down. But it goes to Beal. Beal looking to cross it in. McBride's in the center. It's a good win. Can Harrison win it? Yes, corner for Didsbury. Here's George to take the corner. It comes whipping in. Harrison's got a free header on it. Sheamus will run it down. Take it up. Take it up, Sheamus. Drive at him. Drive at him. Drive at him. Man, be willing to knock it past and have a go, mate. Parks is now cautioned. So, Parks. Player instructions. Ease off tackles. Thank you very much. Bailey here with a dangerous free kick for Didsbury. 81 minutes in. Good header from Harrison. Twinkle as well. <sighs> Beal trying to turn back. That's a great ball across. And Tunda scored. Uh, Brat is denied yet another clean sheet. That's just blown coverage from... That's just blown coverage. Really, Jack stayed back to cover him, but he didn't pick it up. So Didsbury get a consolation that'll help their goal difference. That might be something they need at the end of the season. We don't know. Barhill with essentially a point will rise out of relegation. Harrison over the top for Snicky. It's hit too far. Lloyd will grab that down. Eight minutes in stoppage remain. There's McBride Harrison. Jack Harrison. She missed. They moved the ball well. Snicky. Very good movement of the ball. Snicky with the knock. She missed. Picks it up. Back for Twinkle. Twinkle. Jack over the top. Akuni Kun might be on. Might be off. Akuni Kun, what a goal! Outside of the foot, Akuni Kun. It's five for CLG. Five. Yeah, Akuni Kun was on. I thought maybe I thought maybe Snicky holds the run here and then Akonikun finds them. But Akonikun just said, nah, it's all me. He's way on. He's way on sides. So Yes. There we go. We'll bring Thompson on for Spaps with about five minutes to play. So 
over the top. Snooky won't win the header. But Harrison comes down with a second ball. She just runs that down. Nicely done. Ball over the top. Spaps couldn't get this before summing off. Cousins just grabs it. Cookies. Twinkle. Evans. Cookies. I think Spaps is off there. Oh, no. Spaps has scored. He is not off. Spaps with his eighth. That's another one that's going to be a tight off sides line, but it's 6 one it's an absolute route <clears throat> I did not expect this wow oh yeah he's off oh no the player on the far side has kept him on I didn't realize that. The player on the far side kept them on. A good cut out, Harrison. Ball is a little bit too heavy, though. It'll be cleared up. Uh. Parks. 6-1, man. What a, what a game from the boys. Evans, Twinkle. Tomset. Oh, what a turn, Tomset. Tomset looking for the cross. Tomset, it's deflected. Corner. Right as stoppage time is approaching. Corner come whipping in. Matungu is going to uh, knock it down. Sheamus. Across, Nikki was there. Holy comes down with it though. Beal. Stoppage time, three minutes. And that has been played. Certainly, we're just waiting the full time whistle. It will go. The undefeated, unbeaten streak is going to continue into the last get day of the season. Against AFC Oldham Reserves. 6-1 the final here. They took a shit ton of bookings. 3, 4, 5, 6. They took 6 bookings. Jesus. We outshot them 15-4. to four. There's only one thing to play after, after winning. Snicky with 2. Akoni Kun with 2. Parks and Spaps, we outshot them 15 to 4. XG 2.74 to 1 to 1.16. We both had two clear cut chances. They had one half chance. We had six. Dominated possession 65 35. Uh, we were six to five on corners. 87% passing, 93% tackles. Uh, we outran them by four kilometers, and we made 20 more brick. Per progressive passes and four less high intensity sprints now bar hill oh that's tough <laughs> bar hill managed to draw village manchester which means the five goal loss that didsbury just suffered dropped them back into the relegation on goal difference by five goals temperley villa have beaten Earlham Steel Rangers reserves 4-3. But Whittingham's 95th minute goal may be enough to get Earlham promoted. Because remember, not only does Timberley need to win on the last day of the season and Earlham lose, but that goal difference of nine needs to be resolved as well. Otherwise, Earlham will be up on goal difference. So... This goal is actually huge. It would be uh, seven and fourteen if that goal had not gone in. So, which is still pretty far. But actually, had they not conceded twice in the last ten minutes, and they did, and, I mean, it'd be four one, and they'd be at uh, eight and thirteen. That would seem certainly more manageable. But that's a big win for Temperley Villa.
So that's a big win for Timberley Villa, to be honest. So uh, that is. Let's see if we have a post-match press conference. By the way, we'll we'll answer that if we do, and then we'll we'll kick off here and send you to probably Cellophane, uh, who is an hour and a half into his stream. Honey Badger is an hour into his. Um, but. Uh, 6-1 the final and the show goes on so AFC Oldham reserves as the final fixture they are fourth I am suspended Warner is out with a sports hernia that is the only news that we have so far this will finish processing we will go through save it's only seven days away so it'll be a slightly shorter episode uh, or for you next time uh, at least if you're on YouTube, it'll be a sh slightly shorter episode, but <clears throat> post-match press conference, cheeky save, and we are out of here. If there is a post-match press conference, we haven't called one in, t in two fixtures after we won the title, so, uh, we'll see if that's the case, um, but overall pretty good stuff. There we go. Thank you. Let me copy Cellophane's uh, Twitch so I have it handy once this processing finishes and we move into the save. So I just want to see. Here we go. Uh, let's go to the social feed. I uh, don't think I see any. Oh, the Union lost again on the social feed. God damn it. They're now bottom of the East. God damn it. Uh, this game hates us. Uh, no post-match press conference. But let's see. Classy Kun on form for CounterLogic Gaming. Uh, nicely done. And then uh, we were the key match, I guess. I don't know why. It's kind of a dead... Well, I mean, it's not dead rubber for Didsbury. AFC Oldham reserves cannot gain promotion. Is that because is that because the team in the division above is also AFC Oldham? Yes, that's exactly why. So they cannot come up no matter what. What about the division below? Uh, Didsbury reserves cannot gain promotion. Right, because we're Didsbury is, above, is the division above. Village Manchester under-21s cannot gain promotion. Right, because Village Manchester Reserves is above. Bury Amateur under-21s cannot gain promotion. Why not? I think it's because Bury is actually... Bury Amateur Reserves is actually two divisions above, but still. Signal's still the worst team in the league. But this time they have 18 points. God, they drew nine games. Good lord. Uh... But anyway, uh, let's see here. Player of the week, Akoni Kun. I've reached yellow card limit. It's one day's wage. Uh, that's fine. It's only one day wages. Who cares? Uh, but that is it. No post match press comments. So we're going to save. And we are out of here. Thank you so much for watching on the YouTube. This was CLGFC. This was episode 37. We have 38, the final game. Of season two of our Counter Logic FC save is next episode, and then uh, we have a lot of off season to get through. I'm going to try to go on a national uh, coaching course in the off season. We also have to see how our under 18s conclude. They still have three games left, mind you. Um, so we play the reserves, and then they've got they still play. They've got three games. I'm wondering if we could send. The, the big guys down there, like like myself and Jack and all them. Uh, if I go under 18s and I go, where's the calendar? I just want to see a freaking calendar. Here we go. Um, that's March. Uh, we got Warrington under 18s here and then two fixtures in May. Uh, so Witten Albion and Marine. Oh, I, lordy lord. Marine and Warrington. Wow, we got to play fourth, se third, and then I don't know where Witten is. Witten is um, 10th. So we literally play 4th, 3rd, and 10th in that order. 
But yeah, that is it from us. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. We'll see you for the conclusion of the season next episode. Until then, take care.